So, when we caught this stock in Stock Sage, it was $24.02. And that was on July 12th, eight days ago. Now it's at $37.08. So in eight days, this stock moved up 54.37%. Hey guys, this week we're going through July 15th through July 19th, 2024 winning stocks. And as you know, I like to start this off with the SPY, the Dow, and the NASDAQ so we can get a look at how the market's been doing overall. And we see that with the SPY, it's been moving up for quite a few weeks. We've been making new highs. But now this last week, it dropped. And it didn't just drop. We gave up the gains that we had from the two previous weeks in last week alone. Now, if we move onwards and we look at the Dow, we see that it moved up. It didn't move down. We didn't lose ground. But we gave up by the end of the week all the gains that we had made in the beginning of the week. And lastly, we have the NASDAQ. NASDAQ again. Last week, it didn't really gain ground, didn't really lose much ground. But the previous week, it gained ground. And in this week, it gave up the ground that it made in that week plus more. So having said that, we have to take a look at the things on our watch list. But before we jump to that, I am going to be holding a stock investing class on June that will be next Saturday, July 27th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. That's Florida time. For all of those who would be interested in attending, you can email me at Uncle Dwayne's watch list at gmail.com. Once again, that's Uncle Dwayne's watch list at gmail.com. Letting me know that you'd like to attend the stock investing class. And I will send you back a reply with the Zoom link inside of the reply so that you can attend that. Now, having said that, some more upcoming news. I will be doing another This Week Stock Winners next week. But when we jump into August, there will no longer be a This Week Stock Winners. There will only be a This Month Stock Winners. I will do one at the end of every month. So just letting you know now in advance, um, there will not be any more this week stock winners. There will only be a this month stock winners. And the reason why I'm doing that is because now you guys have the Stock Sage app and all of the companies that are inside of this week's stock winners these days are found through the Stock Sage app. What it does, it pulls up all the fundamentally sound companies, or I should say, it pulls up automatically companies that have at least three of the last five years positive earnings, some all five 
like this one, or some three out of five, and it has total assets exceeding total liabilities on the balance sheet. In addition to that, you can narrow the group down even more by companies that have done stock buybacks for three, four, or all five of the previous years, companies with current assets exceeding current liabilities in addition to total assets exceeding total liabilities. Notice the list is smaller now. You can even do profit margins on the income statements of 10% or greater for all five years. Notice the list is smaller now. Or even greater than 20% for all five years. Now we're down to just one company. And you can even ask for companies with a greater than 4% dividend yield, which this company still has. So this company meets all of these criteria and a greater than 4% dividend yield. And if I click on the ticker symbol, I could see what the company does. I could see all the analytics for the company. And notice right here, it lets you know the dividend yield, 12.85% and the price of the stock, 17.67%. In any event, as of recently, probably the last month or so, all of our stocks that come up in this week's winning stocks are found through the Stock Sage app these days. And having said that, let's go back to our this week's winning stocks list. And our first stock is RCI Hospitality. RCI Hospitality is a little bit of an interesting company. They have restaurants, from what I hear, I haven't seen for myself, but from what I've read, they have restaurants and strip clubs. Well, RCI Hospitality is a three-star company. I like to break the companies on my watch list down into three tiers. Three star the most fundamentally sound. Two stars under that. One star the least fundamentally sound, but sound enough to make it on the watch list. This is a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 8th. And as we know, an earnings report can be sort of like going to a casino. If it comes out good, the stock price can jump up. If it comes out bad, the stock price can drop dramatically. Well, their earnings report comes out on August 8th. This stock is currently at $46.00 and 39 cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $98 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 111.25% increase. And you'll notice they've moved up for the second week now. A shorter move this last week, but still a move up for the second week. We want to see what they do going forward. Now, RCI Hospitality, inside of the Stock Sage app, 
you can actually save the analysis for a stock when you search it. Or I should say when you find it in there. And when we found RCI Hospitality, they were at $39.10 a share. Now they're at $46.39. And that was, we found them on July 8th. And from July 8th to now, which is July 20th, that's 12 days, they've already moved up 18.64%. Next, we have MGP Ingredients. They make alcohol. I believe it's whiskey and some other things. In any event, MGP Ingredients is a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st. Notice they've been up for like the second week now. They're currently at $79.82 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $113.71. If they do, that'll be a 42.46% increase. When we save this stock in StockSage, it was at $70.23 a share. Now it's at $79.82 a share. That was on July 10th. Now, 10 days later, it's already moved up by 13.65%. Then we have Paylocity. Now, Paylocity handles software for human resources. And we have another group on our watch list or company on our watch list, which does pretty much the same thing, Paycom. But now we're speaking about Paylocity. They're a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping August 1st. They're on their third positive week, but only slight moves. And it gave up a lot of the gains from this week. I said they're a two-star. They're currently at $142.94 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $183 and seven cents in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 28.07% increase. Now, when we caught them in stock sage, they were at $130.69. That was on July 1st. Now it's 19 days later, they're at $142.94. That's a 9.37% increase. Then we have Paycom, same type of company as Paylocity. And they're actually, they've moved up a lot so they're going to be removed from our watch list after this week. Paycom is a three-star. They moved up two of the, la um, the last two weeks. They're currently at $158.10. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $179.00 and 73 cents in the next 12 months.
If they do, that'll be a 13.68% increase. Now, Paycom was at $139.88 when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $158.10. We caught them in Stock Sage on July 10th. That was 10 days ago. And we've gotten a 13.02% return in those 10 days. We have Steven Otto Group. They are a one star. Notice that they had a few positive weeks. But this one, not last week, but before last week, was a really nice move up. They're currently at $21.38 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $28.35 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 32.60% increase. Now, they were at $18.53 when we found them in Stock Sage. Now, they're at $21.38. We found them on July 6, 14 days ago. And we've had a 15.38% return in those 15 days, or I should say 14 days, I'm sorry. We have Tegna Inc. Tegna is a two star. They have an earnings date dropping on August 7th. And notice, out of the last five weeks, they've moved up four. And, but this last week, they gave up a little more than half the gains by the end of the week. They're currently at $15.52. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $19.13 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 23.26% return. Now, when we found this stock in Stock Sage, it was $12.72. Now it's $15.52. We found it in Stock Sage on June 17th. So that was about a month and three days ago. And in that time, it's moved up 22.01%. Next we have Southside Bank Shares. This is another stock that'll be removed from our watch list after this week. They've had two nice moves up in the two previous weeks. They're a two star, currently at $31 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $31.33 in the next 12 months, but that's only a 1.06% return. This stock was at $26.65 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now it's at $31. 
it was caught on July 8th, which was 12 days ago. And in that time to now, there's been a 16.32% return. We have Haverty Furniture. They are a two-star. They've moved up the last couple of weeks. Gave up a lot of the gains this previous, well, I should say this week. They have an earnings support dropping July 30th or later that week. They're currently at $26 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $36.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 41.04% increase. Now they had this stock was at twenty three dollars and sixty nine cents when we found it in Stock Sage. Now it's at twenty six dollars. That is a nine point seven five percent increase in the ten days that we found it. We found it on the tenth. This is the twentieth. We have Agco Corporation. Agco Corporation is a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 30th. And notice they're up for their second week. They're currently at $102.03 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them going up to $120.83 in the next 12 months. And if they do, that'll be an 18.43% increase. This company was at $94.99 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now it's at $102.03. That would be a 7.41% increase from 12 days ago when we caught it. We caught it on July 8th. This is July 20th. We have Diamond Hill Investment Group. Diamond Hill is a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. They've had positive weeks for the last three weeks, although two was only slightly positive. They're currently at $148.83 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate for them. But my estimate based on P.E. ratio is that they can move up to $183.21 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 23.10% increase. This company was at $140.97 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now they're at $148.83. That's a 5.57% increase in a little under a month. We have Tatron Components. Another company that's going to be removed from our watch list after this week. They are a three star, currently at $2.91 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my estimate based on P ratio 
is that they can move up to $3.19 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 9.62% increase. Now, this company was $2.65 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now it's at $2.91. That is a 9.81% increase in a little under a month. Then we have United Parcel Service, or many may know as UPS. They are a two-star. They're about to be removed from our watch list. The last two weeks have been positive. They're currently at $145.18 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $159.59 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 9.93% increase. UPS was $135.42 when we found them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $145.18. That is a 7.20% increase in a little over a month. This one is a real move up. This is Chewy's Holdings, they're actually a restaurant, Mexican. They are a two-star. They're currently at $37.08 a share, but Yahoo analysts estimate they will only move up to $36.14 in the next 12 months. So they're actually $2.54 over where the Yahoo analyst said they, are, they would move up. Oh, I'm sorry, 2.54%. Um, look at this long green candle. It tells you how much they moved up in just one week. So... When we caught this stock in Stock Sage, it was $24.02. And that was on July 12th, eight days ago. Now it's at $37.08. So in eight days, this stock moved up 54 point thirty seven percent next we have pool corporation another stock that will be removed after this week they are a two star they supply necessary things for swimming pools in any event, they're currently at $328.52 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $328.98 in the next 12 months. So they're only there now, which means your stock can only move up 0.14%. This company was $297.95 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now it's $328.52.
quarter on July 10. So it's moved up 10.26% in 10 days. We have another company that's about to be removed, which is Deer and Company. Deer and Company is a three star. Two positive weeks. Notice they're currently at $378.06 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $426.84 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 12.90% increase. This company was $348.84 when we found it in Stock Sage. That was 11 days ago on July 9th. Now it's at $378.06. That's an 8.37% increase in 11 days. Then we have Dime Brands Global. They have restaurants, IHOP, Applebee's. In any event, Dime Brands is a no star it's not fundamentally sound enough to be on our watch list but a popular name they have earned support dropping on august 7th they're currently at 35 dollars and 43 cents a share yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to 52 dollars and 25 cents in the next 12 months if they do, that'll be a 47.47% increase. Then we have information services. They are a no star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 5th. They're currently at $3.36 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $6.08 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be an 80.95% increase. We have Heritage Global. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 8th. Currently at two dollars and fifty one cents a share yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to four dollars and sixty seven cents in the next twelve months if they do that'll be an eighty six point oh six percent increase we have gambling.com they are a one star moved up a couple of weeks well, actually, five of the last six. They have an earnings report dropping August 15th or later that week. They are currently at $8.71 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $12.86 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 47.65% increase. Then we have ODB Corporation. They are a one star. Have an earnings report dropping on August 7th or later that week. They're currently at $40.83 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $72.23 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 76.90% increase. Then we have Myers Industries moved up the last couple of weeks. 
They're a two-star. Having earned support dropping on August 1st. They're currently at $14.52 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $30 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 106.61% increase. We have Duckhorn Portfolio. They make wines. They're a one star. Having earned support dropping on the 925 or later that week. They're currently at $7.59 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $9.75 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 28.46% increase. We have Titan Machinery. They are a two-star. Currently have earnings support dropping on August 29th or later that week. They're currently at $16.59 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $25.20 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 51.90% increase. We have CSG Systems. They are a two-star. Currently have an earnings support dropping on August 7th and has moved up for the last two weeks. They're currently at $43.86 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $65.56 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 49.48% increase. We have Greystone Housing Impact Investors. They are a no-star, but they have an earnings report dropping August 1st or later that week. One of the things that I find compelling about this stock is they're at a low price, $14.57, and they have a 10.61% dividend yield. Like I said, they're currently at $14.57. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $18.33 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 25.81% increase. So imagine getting a 25% increase plus a 10% dividend yield. We have Marine Products Corporation. They make recreational vehicles, boats. They're a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping. Well, actually, this is long past. I'm not sure why I was there. In any event, they are currently at $10.15 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but mine's based on P ratio is that they can move up to $12.86 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 26.70% increase. We have Oak Tree Specialty Lending. They're a two-star. They have an earnings support dropping on August 1st. And this is another company with a great dividend yield. They haven't started to move up yet, but they have a 12.85% dividend yield, and they're currently at $17.67. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $19.70. That's 11.49% increase. 
Now, for those of you who have stock sage, you're able to analyze the company and see the PE ratios for the last five years in the current PE ratio. When I look at where the PE ratio is right now, I wouldn't buy this stock right now. I find it a great buy, but when the stock price drops, lower. But that, for those of you who are subscribed to the app, you can check that out for yourselves. Next, we have Helen of Troy Limited. They are another company that's moved down a bit. They haven't started to move up yet, but this company is a three star. They have a earnings report dropping on around July 9th. And when I did a little research on this company, I was very impressed because they own around nine other companies selling just about everything. They span across industries. So they have an interesting portfolio of companies that they own. In any event, they are $56.75 current share price. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to 82 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 44.49% increase. And like I said, when this company begins to move back up, they may be an interesting buy. And from what I've seen in after hours today, they're already moving up. Let's see if that continues into Monday. So that's it for our this week's winning stocks this week. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great night and a great day.